So what's up? <laughs> Ooh, it's really hot today. Oh man. All right. So we got a new surprise. Uh, new surprise being got a new addition to the family. This is my new buddy. I don't know if he's used the camera yet. But here he is. In all his glory. Say hi. <laughs> A jungle BCI. So it's a Colombian BCI jungle uh, morph. Excited to bring this to the collection. Uh, yeah, so today I'm just gonna show you guys like how I personally build um, out my enclosures. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So just to kind of run down some things I got, you know, water bowl, um, two hides. pretty generic you can get these like you know almost at you know pet store but i like these because there's just one um entrance and exit versus having multiple holes which i guess in the reptile world doesn't really count as a hive and so we got some more stuff great buying some you know decorations and just some stuff to fill the first you know beginning and then you slowly add more stuff to it um you know before to use uh, cypress mulch. There we go. And that's my baby. <laughs> so this is what I, I use. I use this, and then you just put it. Let's see. What I do is I just put it in the corner. the adhesive side underneath the tank. That's why we have paper towels for jobs like this. Look at this dude. So in previous videos, I've told you guys about like uh, how I, I black out the sides. And what I use is, it's this window tent. It's like the brand is Gila Glare Control. Anyways, that's just the one I use. I got it from Lowe's. And what I do, I just measure out, measure out the sides, you know, with some measuring tape. This is like some cheap measuring tape. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you just cut out the sides and apply it. It's pretty easy. It's like a little, uh, a spray solution that you spray it down after you've, well, you spray it down first, then you put this on the adhesive side, obviously onto the glass, and then you squeegee it, and then you cut it with a razor. Really easy. So that was the newest member, uh, last one for a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you know, he's all put up now. And so yeah, just let me know what you guys think of him. Do you like him? Do you think he looks cool? So, uh, so uh, I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, but before that, the positive, positive of the day. I ain't gonna lie, I was nervous as hell like picking this other one up because I'm just like, dang, I already have one boa 
I got a ball python and I'm like, dang, dude, adding another bow, it's three total snakes, you know? Um, but I'm glad I did it. It's like once you, you just gotta find the right one that works for you. And I was at the, you know, this place I, I typically go to. Um, and then this dude, he, he had some and I was just like, let me check them out. And I checked them out and I don't know, this is like holding them. It was just like instant connection. And I was just like, dude, I'm down with it. Uh, wasn't hissy, didn't strike, was super friendly, super chill, you know? Uh, I mean, it was even kind of stressful if you think about it, cause like the car ride home and then like, you're playing to a new enclosure, a new environment, and I don't know, he still chill, didn't hiss. Uh, and I felt if there's any time for these snakes to be defensive, it would be right around that time period. It's a podcast that I listen to a lot. Um, I won't bore you guys to death with it, but it's about like growth. And so that's why I always try to push you guys to, to grow as well, because it's the best feeling I felt like. And so, you know, my collection is growing uh, and I felt like I'm also growing with it as well. Uh, definitely not nearly as afraid of uh, snakes as I used to be. I was like, I used to be really afraid, like holding them. So what dude said, and I love this, what he said. So this is the challenge, I guess the positive challenge. Um, it's like, whatever it is that you want to do in this world, it could be anything, you know? For me, it was just like, you know what, dude? I want to collect some snakes, you know? That may sound weird or silly to some, but to others who are actually into the, the hobby, you know, you get it. Uh, but it's not easy to acquire the stuff, you know, these are, it's, you know, what dude said was like, either you're committed or you're interested. So it's one of those two. And if you're interested, you're never going to be committed because it's just a thought. You're just interested. But when you're committed, you know, you, you make actions and you, and you make moves. And so, you know, with this whole um, project or I don't even call it project, you know, it's like my collection. I'm committed. I mean, I'm dead ass committed. And so I guess, is there something in your life that you're, you're thinking about, like you're interested in, but you want to be committed and you just haven't, you haven't found that, that energy to, to fully push and get committed or to fully be committed and fully engaged? Um, yeah, so w what is it for you? And if you have something, maybe this is the week or maybe today is a day that you actually commit to whatever it is that you wanted to do. Just a thought, um, but I tell you right now, like committing yourself to it, it may be scary, it may be nerve wracking, but once you do it, I can't, I can't express to you how, like, how gratifying it feels. It feels, it feels awesome. Uh, and that's how you know you made the right decision. It's like you come back and you're like, I'm proud of that decision. So that's exactly how I feel. And I just really want to, uh, you know, share that love uh, and knowledge. Um, yeah, so keep it positive here. Like I said, like each experience is always wrapped up in a positive experience. I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, definitely plan on doing a lot more videos and just whatever you guys, whatever you guys want. You know, let me know. Like comment on something. If you want to see a certain video or if you have a certain question about like how I even did my enclosure on something or why I may have done something. Um, shoot, yeah, let me know and I'd be happy to comment back. Let's check out uh, our new member and just see how he is getting acclimated. Black Hippie out.